Well, copyright, in my view, is a perfect case study of the challenges encountered in seeking the balanced regulatory approach we, we, we are talking about. Um, as it is well known, the intersection between generative AI and copyright law came to collective attention with the New York Times complaint against open AI, which prompted, prompted many news media and platforms to, uh, to prevent uh, um, chat GPT crawlers um, from accessing the content. Mm, focusing again on Europe, uh, the copyright regulation is um, trying to address these and the other issues raised by artificial intelligence from two points of view, I would say, from two sides. First one is considering the idea of providing forms of economic remuneration, the so-called fair compensation um, from AI-based services to publishers. Second, uh, the issue is uh, uh, approached um, requiring the uh, authorization of the uh, right holders for any use of copyright protected content. Uh, let me uh, explain by starting from the first point I made. Uh, here, uh, personally, I have strong misgivings uh, about the uh, remuneration hypothesis because I believe, uh, I believe it um, privileges publishers over any other content producers uh, which don't claim compensation uh, when their data are used by uh, AI-based services and chatbots to, to, for their training. Now, uh, the uh, authorization scheme provided by the uh, AI Act I was mentioning um, is a scheme which uh, looks like as a, as a reasonable solution from my point of view. But at the same time, uh, there is a, a paradoxical argument I'd like to develop, to elaborate, in order to highlight the double standard we use in front of human intelligence on the one hand and artificial intelligence on the other. And this double standard, in my view, has to be overcome if we want to achieve a well-balanced regulation. Um, the paradoxical argument is the following. Mm, the claim for fair compensation for publishers when AI-based services use their content is justified on the base that uh, these AI uh, services and apps use um, newspaper uh, or other copyrighted content for profit. That is, these services, think about chatbots, hmm? uh, monetize by providing us, the users, with answers that are based on the content of newspaper or other um, copyrighted content. But, uh, human beings uh, do the same. Very often we take advantage, so to speak, from copyrighted protected content for profit. That is, um, we use uh, this content to learn new things and sometimes in order to monetize from the knowledge acquired by studying and uh, reading newspaper and copyrighted content. For example, I aim to get a well-remunerated job 
from starving. Nevertheless, my body, being a, a, a flesh and blood person, should ask for permission from the copyright owner before reading a newspaper, unlike what happens with chatbots. In short, sometimes I'm not sure having different rules for the human mind on one end and the artificial mind on the other makes sense. And this is the meaning of the provocative statement you, you quoted. Um, here, my conclusion here is that um, maybe it's too early to find a solution to the copyright problems raised by AI. Anyway, I believe that any balance resolution must have two starting points. The first one is a rigorous analysis of the real value chain. Who earns more and from whose services? And second, we should take into account a precise diagnosis. We are supposed to regulate only when there is a pathology to be healed for real.